Good day students. Myself, Dr. Monica Khetarpal. I am Associate Professor of Physics in Government Dungar College, Bikanir. I am dealing with the first paper, Classical Mechanics of MSc Previous. Today, we will discuss about Rotating Coordinate System. In a Rotating Coordinate System, our aim is to find the acceleration. So, here I am taking two reference frame. The first frame which is denoted in this figure by x, y, z. This is my uh, frame x, y, z and I am taking another frame which is denoted by x dash, y dash and z dash. The difference between these two frames is that the first frame which we have taken as x, y, z. This is the frame. This frame is stationary. And the another frame which is denoted by x, z, y, z, z dash. This frame is rotating with respect to the original frame x, y, z. Now, here we have assumed that initially at time t equal to 0, both these frames, their origin, they coincide and their axis also coincide. We have taken a point P. We have to find the value of acceleration of the object which is placed at a point P which is placed at a point P in these two frames. So, that means we have to discuss the motion of point P in the two frames, one frame which is stationary and the other frame which is rotating. We are denoting the stationary frame coordinates by unprimed system this frame is termed as space set of axis or stationary coordinate system and the another frame that means the frame which is rotating it is termed as body set of axis and we will denote the coordinates in this frame by primed coordinates. So we are expressing the coordinates of point P at time t equal to 0 as R equal to Ix plus Jy plus Kz. These are the coordinates in space set of axis. Here I, J, K, they are unit vectors in space set of axis and I prime, J prime and K prime. These are the unit vectors in body set of axis. Now, since the primed frame, which is body set of axis, it is rotating. So, we will have that I prime, J prime and K prime. These unit vectors, they will also change with time. But the unit vectors i j k which are in body set, which are in space set of axis they will remain constant that means unit vectors in body set will change and the unit vectors in space set of axis they will remain constant now in order to find the variation of these unit vectors we are taking an example in which we have drawn a vector r with respect to the origin o. Now it is rotating its new position of r is changed to r plus dr and the solid angle subtended at the center is d omega. This is the arc dr. From here we can find out the value of dr as 
in this triangle we have perpendicular to be as r sin theta and what is the value of r from here we can see that since angle is equal to arc upon radius we have dr to be r sin theta d omega this will be the value of r sin theta this is the r sin theta and dr will be r sin theta into angle d omega so we have dr upon dt as d omega upon dt cross r what is the value of d omega upon dt it is equal to omega that means the angular velocity of rotation so we can express our unit vectors variation that means velocity of particle p in rotating frame uh, in x direction as di prime by dt uh, by dt equal to omega cross i prime so here we have rate of change of vector r to be expressed as dr by dt d by dt we have substituted the value of r r was i prime x prime plus j prime y prime plus k prime z prime this is the value of r now we have to differentiate it so for differentiating here i prime j prime k prime these are the unit vectors which change with time and we have already derived the value as omega cross i prime this is the value of di prime by dt similarly we can find the value of dj prime by dt and dk prime by dt so taking the differential my d by dt of the first term which comprises of i prime and x prime the derivative of x prime will be x dot prime keeping i prime to be a same and then the differential of i prime this is the term which contains the differential of i prime x prime being the same similar is the case for other two terms so here i have collected all the terms which are similar here omega prime is common in these three terms and we have taken it outside and the remaining terms remaining term form r so here we have find out the operator for d by dt this term can be expressed as this is the value of dr by dt in unprimed set of coordinates so i am expressing dr by dt bracket unprimed and in the right hand side here i have the derivative with respect to primed set of coordinate i can express it as dr by dt primed plus omega cross r here dr by dt primed it is the rate of growth and omega cross r it is the rate of transport hence rate of change of a vector rate of change of a vector it is the it is equal to the sum of rate of growth plus rate of transport this gives the value of operator d by dt here we can see that d by dt operator can be expressed as d prime by dt plus omega cross r now in order to find the acceleration i have initially find the velocity which is equal to dr by dt so we have dr by dt to be as d prime r upon dt plus omega cross r from the value of velocity 
we can differentiate it to get the value of acceleration. Differentiating it with respect to t, we will have d by dt, dr by dt. We have determined the value of the operator d by dt as d prime d by dt plus omega cross. This is the value of operator and d by dt is d prime r by dt plus omega cross r. So, we can have on simplifying and multiplying we have the term d, d prime square upon d2 square. This is the differential of the term d prime by dt which is uh, which on operating on omega cross r gives these two term. Then there is a term which contains omega cross d prime r upon dt plus omega cross omega cross r. Here we have collected similar type of terms. The similar type of terms will give me d2 prime r upon dt square and these two terms omega cross d cross r upon dt these two terms are same so they will make 2 omega cross d prime r upon dt then the term omega cross omega cross r plus the remaining term d prime omega by dt cross r. The left hand side this denotes the acceleration of the particle p in unprimed set of coordinate. Hence, I can express d2r upon dt square as a. And on the right hand side, the first term d2 prime r upon dt square, this is the value of acceleration in primed set of coordinate. That means in rotating set of coordinate. I have, I have expressed this term as a prime and second and third term being the same and the last term which is which was d prime omega by dt cross r i have expressed this term as d omega by dt cross r here we have neglected the variation between d omega by dt and d prime omega by dt as this variation is very small Now, the other terms which are expressed in this expression, they are here we have a term which is omega cross omega cross r, this third term. This term is known as centripetal acceleration and this centripetal acceleration, it is directed towards the axis and we can find the value of magnitude omega cross omega cross r. Its value will be omega square r sin theta. Simply it, it can be obtained simply by opening the cross products. So we have as v is equal to omega r I can express it in terms of v and r as v square upon r sin theta. So, the second term which is 2 omega cross d prime r upon dt. <coughs> this term is termed as corollysis acceleration and this term appear only when the, the point P it is moving in a prime set of coordinate and the last term expressed by d omega by dt cross r. This term is the acceleration which is produced by the angular acceleration in prime set of coordinate. Here we can see that angular velocity omega 
this also varies with respect to time we have not taken d omega by dt to be zero because there is also a variation of omega with respect to t so if we have a particle and two set of coordinates then the two set of coordinates will have a acceleration which have which have different value here we have expressed our acceleration in unprimed set of coordinates as a prime which is the acceleration in prime set plus a term which is known as coriolis's acceleration plus the third term which is centripetal acceleration and the last term which is developed because of acceleration of a frame which is rotating with respect to the unprimed system that means the acceleration in two set of coordinates primed and unprimed set of coordinate they are different there are three additional terms if we move over from unprimed set to prime set of coordinates thank you students for watching